So let's move on to uh, our topic on CBD oil and how CBD can help to balance, because we want to use the word balance. I think that's perfect how Dr. Mitchell talked about our immune system. We want our immune system to be in balance. We don't want it to be overactive. We don't want it to be underactive. We don't even want to boost it. We want to make it to be in balance. So some effective ways that we can use a CBD in boosting our or balancing our immunity. So what is CBD? What's the big deal about it? Is it legal? Can it help me? You understand if you're on the line, we can't make any claims. If anyone's making any claims that anything is going to cure or prevent COVID-19, you know, they're not speaking the truth. This is a novel virus. We don't know a lot about it. Uh, we're quickly trying to get a vaccine. We're trying to find the antibodies that are really going to address this new virus. So CBD is an abbreviation for cannabidiol, and it's really gaining a lot of popularity. Uh, we see uh, CBD products everywhere, and CBD through research absolutely shows that it offers a lot of health benefits without the high. And like Dr. Mitchell, I've been using CBD in my practice as well. Um, you know, many patients stay with me after having babies, so they use me for their primary care physician. So anywhere from assisting in blood sugar levels, blood cholesterol levels, anxiety and pain, CBD offers a host of uh, benefits. So when we look at the plant, it's important that you understand the difference between the two species that this cannabis plant produces. Both of these species produce THC, which is the part of the plant that gives us the high, and it also produces the non-psychoactive compound called CBD. So marijuana, the species that you typically, when you go to a dispensary, either a medical marijuana dispensary or a recreational dispensary, you're going to get products that are extracted from the marijuana species. That means it has a high level of THC or tetrahydrocannabinol and very trace amounts, low levels of CBD or cannabidiol. When we look at the hemp species, and that's what we're going to concentrate on tonight, we look at the hemp species, that species has very trace amounts of THC, 0.3% or less is the definition of industrial hemp and high levels of CBD. So what we see is that the hemp species gives us the health benefits without the high. And what makes it legal? Well, the 2018 Farm Bill. This was passed in December of 2018, and it was under the Agricultural Improvement Act. And what it did is that it legalized hemp. After 80 years of hemp being um, in the same uh, category as cannabis as a whole, after 80 years, hemp was descheduled. No longer was it a Schedule I drug, and it is now legal to be grown, to be sold and consumed in all 50 states. So the 2018 Farm Bill make CBD products that are extracted from the hemp species legal. Well, let's look at CBD and all of its medicinal properties. When we look at the other compounds that the plant produces that really gives us health benefits, you can see here on the slide, it's really the CBD that has all of the health benefits. You know, CBD has benefits as being an antibacterial, it inhibits cancer cell growth. And you heard Dr. Mitchell, you know, as being a preventive uh, medicine for adults specializing in internal medicine and preventive care, she's used CBDs, uh, our CBD product, Wakana CBD product, in a host of different chronic illnesses in her practice. It also helps to promote bone growth. It reduces seizures and convulsions. It reduces inflammation. And CBD actually helps to um, balance the immune system. CBD is great for those who have a hyperimmune system, like those with autoimmune diseases like lupus, fibromyalgia. 
uh, and scleroderma and sarcoidosis to name a few. But CBD you'll see later on also helps those who have a depressed immune system. Those folks who are HIV positive or folks who have cancer, those who have um, a depressed immune system, even from having chronic illnesses. So CBD balances the body. It helps to relieve anxiety. It helps to relieve pain. And those are some of the things that we see when we look at viruses, specifically flu viruses, like the coronavirus or the influenza virus or the SARS or the MERS, there is a lot of anxiety that comes with it. CBD also is very, very um, important in reducing uh, the constriction of blood vessels. So it's a very powerful vasorelaxant that's why it's very helpful in those who have high blood pressure as well. And then you can see the other cannabinoids that the plant makes like CBG and CBGA and CBC. They all synergistically come together on a cellular level and overall help to reduce inflammation. And inflammation is an issue when we talk about this virus as well. Some of the other medical issues and disorders that CBD can address range from disorders pertaining to schizophrenia, anxiety, depression, ADHD, diabetes, obsessive compulsive disorders, Parkinson's, neuropathic pain, chronic pain, um, to name a few. So the way CBD does this is there is a science, there's a real science about how it works. And it works by interacting with receptors in our body within the human endocannabinoid system. This system was discovered in the early 1990s. And what we're finding is that this is a vital regulatory system that keeps our body in balance. It keeps our body in homeostasis. And these receptors, thank God, are found in every single organ and gland in our body. And the most important organ or system is the immune system. When we speak about CBD uh, assisting with even symptoms that the COVID-19 virus is showing us, CBD has receptors in the immune system to help decrease inflammation, a powerful antioxidant, you know, helping with the viral load that this virus is showing our body. So every single organ and gland is found on the cell surfaces in every human being. So CBD works by interacting with the receptors in a system called the endocannabinoid system. So yes, the immune system has receptors that are looking for CBD to put it back in balance. So we cannot make any claims. I want you to hear this clearly. We cannot make any claims that if you take CBD, you will not get infected with the COVID-19. If you know of any company that's claiming that, absolutely, that is not right. But let's talk about some of the things that you can use uh, for an immune defense package along with CBD. Let's talk about these things first. Uh, one of the interesting things, if you're here in Illinois, Chicago, when you go to the grocery store, everything is gone except the vitamins. The vitamin section, the fresh fruit and uh, vegetable section is packed. Uh, the toilet paper, the paper towels, um, a lot of the processed foods like potato chips and popcorn and candy and all this unhealthy stuff, all of those items are gone. But what's still available are these defense immune packages. So vitamin D, vitamin D is something that everybody on the line should absolutely be on. Vitamin D, because there's a decreased amount of sunshine, especially here in the Midwest, really is an important supplement to add. Um, it can also be found in fortified milk and cereal. So that's gonna help your immune system, vitamin C. Hopefully everybody on this line is on vitamin C during this time. 
is probably the most well-known immune booster. You can get it from buying vitamin C tablets or eating citrus fruits like oranges and grapefruit and lemons. Vitamin C is highly found in bell peppers and kale and broccoli. Again, when you notice and you go in the grocery stores, all the fresh fruits and vegetables are well stocked, but there's no toilet paper. We need these things to really keep our immune system in balance. Vitamin E. Vitamin E is a very powerful antioxidant. It's going to help fight infections. You can get vitamin E also from nuts like sunflower seeds, almonds, peanuts, hazelnuts. You can also get it from avocados, mango, and kiwi. And then zinc. Zinc is another important mineral that keeps our immune system strong and aids in healing. So you want to make sure, guys, that you have a very strong immune defense package that is made up of these vitamins and minerals. And then hydration. I cannot stress this enough. You should be drinking at minimum half your body weight. So if you are 150 pounds, you should be getting at least 75 ounces a water in every day. You should be getting at least seven to nine hours of sleep. And your diet should be a diet that is a healthy diet, that is a diet with fresh fruits and vegetables and less processed foods, less packaged foods, so that you can get your immune system the best it can be. I read an article and shared with a lot of you an article from uh, what they did 100 years ago when they were faced with the flu in 1918. And some of the things they had to do because there was absolutely not enough room in hospitals. And we may see that day coming very soon, not enough ventilators. What they did is they used the natural sun. They found that fresh air helped to decrease the virus. Many of you on the line may remember your mom or grandmother say, put a coat on. You're going to get the flu. You're going to get the cold if you don't put a coat on. Well, it's actually you get sick when you're in the house and you're all together versus out in fresh air during this time, getting the sunlight, getting that natural vitamin D and making sure you're managing your stress. I'm telling you, this is most probably the most stressful time for a hundred percent of us on this webinar okay we are really stressed because this is unknown chartered unknown territory many of us as a physician i never thought i would see anything like this in my lifetime in practicing medicine so we really have to exercise pray meditate We've got to stay off of social media. It'll make us crazy and really breathe and relax. Wash our hands, sanitize the surfaces, use all of these precautions, make sure the elderly, make sure those who may not be elderly, like Dr. Mitchell said, they may have underlying chronic diseases, specifically asthma, are away from folks so that they don't get a, an increase in uh, risk of getting the virus. So there are studies that show that yes, not only is CBD an antibacterial, but CBD is an antiviral. And when we, again, look at the immune system, we need to get our immune system balanced. That's optimal effectiveness for our immune system to fight off this virus. Again, we don't want our immune system to be overactive. Those are conditions like lupus, inflammatory bowel disease, type 1 diabetes, Hashimoto thyroiditis, rheumatoid arthritis. CBD addresses those issues, decreases the hyperactivity of autoimmune diseases, and brings it back into balance. Even food sensitivities, allergies, eczema, asthma, sinusitis, CBD balances the immune system. Let's look at the underactive immune system. Again, those are people who have cancer, hepatitis, HIV, shingles, TB, infections, bacterial, 
mold, fungus, parasites, viruses. CBD can come in and put that immune system back in balance. When you add that, and you'll see later during my presentation, when you add CBD along with those very vital immune defense vitamins and minerals, along with sleep, hydration, washing your hands, getting outside, getting fresh air, getting sunshine, prayer and meditation, you and social distancing, making sure that if you are given the path to work at home, work at home. Do not come outside unless you absolutely need to. Try to go to the grocery store when there is not large crowds of folks at the grocery store. So you can screenshot this article. These are some articles that talk about CBD being a novel anti-inflammatory drug, being used to regulate the immune system. How does it do that? Again, through those receptors uh, in the brain and the central nervous system, specifically in the immune system, to put the body back in balance, to decrease inflammation, as well as this is another article you can screenshot any healthcare providers that really want to get more scientific evidence how CBD works in the endocannabinoid system with those receptors to help mediate these reactions that our body produces when it sees a virus. Now again, this is a novel virus. That means our body, humans, humans have never seen it. And humans have never seen it because this virus is a result of those folks uh, eating bats. Uh, they were eating rats. Uh, whenever you consume animals that you shouldn't be consuming, a novel virus occurs like this COVID-19. There's even uh, stories where they were using rat droppings and, pet and bat droppings to um, fertilize the soil. So now we have a lot of those fruits and vegetables that were fertilized with animal droppings as well. So screenshot that. So let's now get into our product line at Wakan. I'm going to talk to you about how you can use these products to help balance our immune system. Everyone on this webinar, if you know, if you know someone that has any uh, issues that will compromise your immune system. They have asthma, they have diabetes, they have heart disease, they have cancer, they're HIV positive, they have autoimmune disease, lupus, fibromyalgia, Crohn's. Anyone that's compromised, I'm begging you to share this information, to share these products with them because they absolutely will help to put their body back in balance. So these statements have not been approved by the FDA. Our products should not be used to treat, cure, prevent, or diagnose your condition. I want to say it again. I am not saying that CBD or Wakana products will prevent you from getting the COVID-19 virus, or if you're already tested positive, that it would cure or even treat. What we're saying is that studies have shown, and I've showed you the scientific studies, that CBD not only is an anti-inflammatory and antioxidative, but it helps the immune system, those immune receptors to put those uh, products that are helping to fight to strengthen your immune system back in balance. That's what I'm saying. So our products are some of the most rich medicinal hemp products. And what is very unique about Wakana products is that we are fully compliant with the State Department of Agriculture regulations. Our products are industrial hemp registered and our products are farm bill compliant. Not all CBD products are made equally. You cannot trust CBD from the gas station. You have to know your source. The farm bill compliant means that our products contain the legal limit of THC, which is 0.3% or less, and our CBD is extracted from the hemp plant, the hemp species. So our Hemp MD is a great product for someone who you may know that has chronic debilitating disease. They may have asthma, they may have COPD, emphysema, they may be diabetic, hypertensive, overweight. These are people 
that are susceptible of getting sick and maybe even dying from this virus. This is a tincture. This is one of our, our most potent products, 750 milligrams of CBD. The way that you use this product to help build the immunity is very easy. Twice a day dosing, three drops in the morning, three drops in the evening under the tongue, making sure you hold the oil under the tongue for 60 seconds before you swallow. CBD, again, cannabidiol, has properties that are anti-inflammatory. They're going to help the immune system to decrease the inflammatory cells. They're also going to be an antioxidant. CBD will help to uh, put those free radicals that can be tearing up and destroying our tissue to put those back into balance. This product's gonna help us sleep. Many of us are very anxious. We cannot sleep at night because all we're thinking about is this COVID-19 virus. So it's gonna help us sleep. It's gonna help bring down that anxiety and help us really get through this hard time. Our next product is our Hempranium 500. Again, it's another oil that you place underneath your tongue, but this product is unique in that we have added turmeric, peppermint, and black seed. Those are essential oils that enhance the CBD's anti-inflammatory and antioxidative um, properties. Black seed also helps to uh, rebuild beta cells of the pancreas. So those patients who have diabetes, who again are at risk, their immune system is diminished because of diabetes, it helps to rebuild the beta cells and normalize blood sugar. Twice a day dosing, again, three drops in the morning, three drops in the evening is a great way to support your immune system. It will also help us with anxiety. It would also help with the insomnia. So when we talk about COVID-19, there's a lot of things that we're enduring and we don't even have symptoms. Just thinking about all of those who have tested positive and those who have unfortunately passed away causes a lot of anxiety, even in myself. See, I'm a front line uh, responder. I'm in the front line. So, you know, I get a pregnant mom that may have been exposed and comes up here to labor and delivery. Of course, that puts me at risk as well as her baby at risk and herself. So empowered, powered by Hempranium 500 is another great product that you can use. We have the same product in a 5 ml bottle, which is a great tester bottle. Again, twice a day dosing is what you want to do. And then we have other products that can help to boost the immune system that are water soluble. You can put this product in your water, in your tea, in your coffee, uh, in your oatmeal, whatever food that you're eating or things that you're drinking, again, this will address inflammation, it will address pain, anxiety, insomnia, and it would help to improve and keep the immune system in balance. You can cook with our products. This is a great product that you can bake with. You can cook. Many of you are at home and you are going to be at home for a while. So this is a great way that you can use to infuse baked goods and cook. Or you can use this product as a twice a day tincture, three drops in the morning, three drops in the evening. Again, we are hoping that you're using all the measures along with CBD, right? You're hydrating, you're sleeping, your vitamin D, C, E, zinc, all are on board. You've got your, um, your technique, 20 seconds minimum of washing your hands, making sure you're sanitizing. All of these things are going to boost or to keep our immune system in check. So this is the proper way that you should take the CBD oil. You place it underneath the tongue. Again, it's important to hold it underneath the tongue for a minute before you swallow so those sublingual glands in your mouth can absorb the CBD into the bloodstream. Try not to drink 
eat or smoke for at least 15, maybe 30 minutes afterwards, that will give you optimal absorption of the CBD. This is another screen I want you to, uh, to screenshot, a slide that you should screenshot. Why? Because we really advocate that even our children can take our products. So this is a great source um, that you can use for children that may be 25 to 45 pounds or maybe children that are less than 25 pounds. I would not give a baby CBD. That's just me personally, um, but any child over the age of 10, absolutely yes. Then there are folks who are heavier weights. Of course, the heavier you are, you may need more CBD, but just know that each drop of our CBD is 1.67 milligrams. Each drop is 1.67 milligrams. So you can figure out the dosing by taking one drop, two drops, three drops, multiply that number by 1.67 to give you a better dosing for those who may be less than 150 pounds and those who are more than 240 pounds. Remember, all of our products had a, have a suggested uh, dosing. Again, I start with three drops in the morning and three drops in the evening. Also, another issue that happens when we get uh, flu symptoms is pain, pain, body pain. Our topical relief cream and oils are something that you can use as well during those times. This is a great product that contains eight additional essential oils that are anti-inflammatory as well as 200 milligrams of CBD. So again, this is a great product that you can use for pain. We have another product that's 500 milligrams of CBD, only contains six essential oils. We added six additional certified essential oils that help to reduce inflammation but again, a great product for local relief. And then Dr. Rita's Rub is in a liquid form, topical, 19 certified organic essential oils, along with the CBD that you can use for inflammation and pain as it relates to having flu-like symptoms. And then another way of ingesting CBD is through a gummy. I love gummies because they address sleep, inflammation, they address anxiety, and libido. These gummies take 45 to 90 minutes to work. I have to laugh because they say during this quarantine, I'm going to be doing, delivering a lot of babies in the next nine months, but that's going to be something to see. But anyway, one gummy at night will help to get that restorative rapid eye movement sleep, one gummy at night also will address inflammation as you're sleeping. So each gummy is 25 milligrams. It is uh, a product that is, again, 0.3% or less of THC. We have gummies that contain less than 0.0% .0 of THC. Start with one gummy and increase to two if needed. Then our vape oil cartridges are a great way to get CBD into the system quickly. Within one to five minutes after using our vape cartridges, you will get relief. I've been vaping um, a lot more frequently um, just because of the anxiety level that we all have. I'm not immune to it. I'm very anxious about this COVID-19 too. I've been vaping a lot more recently just to help me to remain calm because if I'm not calm for my patients, then that's a disaster, okay? So I have to remain calm at all times. So this cartridge contains organic CBD along with MCT coconut oil, black seed and turmeric. Again, a very unique product that helps to decrease inflammation, pain, anxiety. We have a pre-roll joint 
Uh, this is a CBD cigarette, another great way to offer quick relief from anxiety, depression, or maybe you just need to sleep or body aches. This entire CBD joint contains 163 milligrams of CBD, so please do not smoke the entire joint. You only need two to three pulls, maybe three times a day. This joint should last you at least three to four weeks. So it's fast acting, and I love fast acting products. If you're at home, you're at home from work for the next month or two, these uh, seasonings are a great way to use in your food. Again, another method of delivery to get CBD to balance your immune system. We have a CBD infused butter. You can use that on your toast, your oatmeal, um, your baking, your pancakes, your waffles, your grits. I'm sure everyone's gonna be eating very well uh, during this time, but again, a great way to get CBD into your system. We have a culinary oil. So there's a different ways to balance our immune system, even by adding this oil to your favorite sauces. Again, brownies, salads, please do not fry chicken with this oil. We don't want you eating fried chicken anyway during this time. Healthy eating is going to help to boost or balance your immune system. Again, this oil is infused with grape seed oil. Grape seed oil has many, many medicinal benefits, one being anti-inflammatory. We also have a hair product for those men and women that uh, have hair thinning or alopecia. Again, this is a product you can use topically or you can use and ingest internally. We have a body cream, again, Using this body cream actually helps with any skin conditions like psoriasis, acne, or eczema, or just to help to continue that anti-aging process. Now, sexual enhancement, again, is another um, important thing to talk about. Many of you are going to be quarantined for a long time. So this is a great lube to use to enhance a sexual encounter. It helps to uh, lubricate the vagina. It's used also to not only improve libido, but erectile dysfunction. It is water-based, so it's compatible with natural rubber latex condoms. Now, as we end our webinar, we have products that are used for those who have random drug screens at their job. These are our pure products. These are products that contain less than 0.0% THC. These are products that can be used in children over the age of 10. This is a tincture, which means it's an oil you place twice a day underneath the tongue. I like three drops in the morning, three drops in the evening. And again, when we're talking about uh, inflammation, when we're talking about anxiety, we're talking about insomnia, we're talking about the immune receptors that are looking for CBD. This is another great product that is also infused with black seed, turmeric, and peppermint. This comes in a 5 ml jar as well as a 15 ml bottle as well. And then we have our gummies, our 0.0% uh, broad spectrum gummies, 25 milligrams of CBD, great product for children. Again, the same issues that we're addressing when we're talking about this COVID-19 virus. Uh, there's different ways that you can come in and purchase our products. You can purchase our products uh, more in a bulk form at wholesale. That's our full crown jewel dispensary which is $998, it's a $2,000 value. It comes with $1,300 worth of products. It comes with our business tools. So whoever invited you on the line can talk to you more about this dispensary. And then we have a personal use dispensary. These products are for personal use, but you're buying it at a 40% wholesale discount. We give you $500 value in this particular dispensary. Then we have something called a customer variety pack. It will give you a variety of products uh, of our power as well as our pure products. 
Some possible side effects on using too much CBD, that's why I say start low and slow. Start with three drops in the morning, three drops in the evening. You could possibly have some fatigue, diarrhea, change in appetite or changes in weight. So if you start low and start slow, you can avoid these minor side effects. And then store your CBD properly. Store it uh, in a refrigerator is what is optimal to extend the shelf life. The shelf life is one year, but keep it away from extreme light and heat and extreme cold. So making sure that you shake that water soluble product well, and again, tighten the top once it's open to avoid uh, air excessive air exposure. So to sum up this COVID-19 virus, it is a novel virus, which means it is new for humans. Humans have never seen this virus. Some things that you can do to uh, balance your immune system is absolutely start our CBD products along with um, those vitamins and minerals we talked about, zinc, vitamin D, vitamin C, vitamin E, along with good hydration, seven to nine hours of sleep, a healthy diet, and please wash your hands. Do not touch your face when you have handled something or been around an area where the virus could be living. Making sure you're sanitizing your surfaces, your doorknobs, and practicing social distancing. That means six feet or two meters away if you have to be in an environment, in a work environment, or if you have to run to the store, please, please practice social distancing. We wanna make sure that all of you are at the healthiest state you can be in. And right now, these are some of the things that you can do to boost and to balance your immune system. So at this time, I know we've run over. I'm gonna take some questions, if I have any, in my chat box here. Uh, if you have any questions, you can put them here. And how does CBD affects platelets and cancer patients? Well, there are some studies that CBD helps to improve uh, the immune system, specifically cells that help with immunity. And that's more the white blood cells. Those are the leukocytes. There's a lot of studies that show that the white blood cells benefits. Not seeing a lot of studies on platelets, but of course, platelets, white blood cells, red blood cells all together are helping the overall immunity. Can you put the chart back on the foods? Can you put the chart back up on the foods for a second? I'm not sure what foods you were talking about. Um, is there a pure water soluble? Yes, there is pure water soluble. And does it help with body pain? Absolutely. I would recommend our topicals as well as tinctures to help with body pain. Can you put the defense information back up? And can the body become dependent on the CBD after using it for long? You know, once you get resolution of your symptoms with CBD, then you wanna back down to a more preventative daily dose. So when CBD is being used for a specific condition. Right now we're saying using CBD as a defense, part of your defense in boosting or balancing your immune system. So at this point, if you are on the webinar, you don't have any chronic illnesses that you're also trying to address, I would do three drops in the morning and three drops in the evening. And then once this virus is settled and we have control, then you can use that CBD just like a multivitamin, three drops once a day. Great question. So I am going to put the screen back up on
the defense is one I think you wanted to see. And vitamin D, vitamin C, vitamin E, and zinc. These are absolutely the minimum vitamins and minerals that you should have in your home right now. Everybody on this line probably could tell me what they're taking, right? There's a lot of things that you can take. There's a lot of information out there in, in uh, helping your immune system, but I can't stress enough going back to the basics, which are these, going back to getting proper rest, getting proper hydration, getting proper fresh air, and getting proper sunlight. I can't stress that enough. They already proved that 100 years ago, along with hand washing, proper hygiene, and sanitation. Any other questions in the chat area? Let's see. Oh, I do want to give you information from Dr. Mitchell. Um, less than 40 degrees Fahrenheit and greater than 140 degrees Fahrenheit seems to be the answer to the person that asked about temperature and high heat. So less than 40 degrees Fahrenheit and greater than 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So can you address how exercise affects the immune system? Well, exercise affects the immune system by decreasing stress. And the more stressed out you are chronically, it depresses and weakens our immune system. So exercising will also increase those natural cannabinoids that our body produces. It's called anandamide. Exercise also decreases stress, which causes the immune system to be stronger. So absolutely, if you are at home, please work out at home. You can do jumping jacks, you can do squats, you can do push-ups. If you have a treadmill at home, if you have a bike at home, this is the time to use these items that we typically throw our clothes on, right? We use them for a coat hanger. Exercise, sleep, hydration, vitamins, vitamin C, E, D, zinc, hydration, washing your hands, CBD. Please get your CBD tonight. This will also produce a balanced homeostatic immune system. So that's all for tonight. I thank you for uh, tuning in. I want you to contact the person that invited you on this line to get your products ordered. Um, my email address again is Mac at yahoo.com. Any other questions that you have, you can email questions to Dr. Charlotte Mitchell. I will get them over to her. You can even use our Facebook page, our Wakana for Life Facebook page to put your questions in there. I'll check that. Again, we are not making any claims to treat or diagnose or cure this COVID-19. But what we are saying is that CBD has been shown through research to be an antiviral, to be an antibacterial, to be an anti-inflammatory, to be an amazing analgesic, to help with anxiety, to help with sleep, to help with body pain, body pain or body aches, so many symptoms that research has shown that CBD has been effective in helping to uh, put the immune system in balance. We cannot keep this information quiet any longer. We've got to get our seniors on CBD. We've got to get those that are immunocompromised on CBD. Immunocompromised people, again, are people who may have HIV, AIDS, cancer, um, any of the uh, diabetes, heart disease, 
asthma, COPD, emphysema. You guys know those people out there. We want to make sure those people have our CBD. And we want to make sure healthy millennials have our CBD too because we understand that we've got to keep everyone healthy. So again, please contact the person that invited you on the line. I'm excited. We had 110 people on this webinar. So we really have hit a lot of folks so that they can take this out there and empower their community, empower their loved ones, empower, empower their coworkers and others. Have a great night. We'll see you next Wednesday here. Same time, same Zoom ID number. 375-679-941. Thank you and have a great night.